Right, so the wind has been uh, veering this morning, so I changed from Jenaker to from the small Jenaker to the big Jenaker, and I've been noticing that I had a problem with the chafe protection on that halyard, and I needed to remove it, so I need to fix this. And also, I'm passing at the moment, so I'm gonna start soon to pass the Rail d'Ouessant, so it's the TSS of Ouessant, which is super busy. Really soon, it's going to be slaloming in between uh, container ships. Uh, and the spinnaker. So that's gonna be fun as always. But yeah, it's a beautiful day to sail and hopefully I have win the whole day, made as much ground as possible and hopefully by tonight I'll be approaching the... Um, uh, tomorrow morning I'll be approaching the ceiling. So yeah, that's the objective. Let's see. Alright, it's been 24 hours at sea, uh, I'm blasting at 13 knots, uh, time to do a log and uh, I'm not sure you can hear because of all the noise, 14, 166 nautical miles uh, during 24 hours, not such a good average, but that's because of the slow progress yesterday afternoon. Uh, since last night, since the wind picked up, I'm almost at 10 knots average, so that's pretty good. Pretty happy about that. Hey, it looks like I have a friend. There is a mini also, probably doing his uh, qualification loop as well. And he's just under Genoa, so maybe had a rough night and taking some rest. Or maybe he's putting a spinnaker now. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to have someone to play with. Tu fais ta calife aussi Ah la turballe Et toi Ok, bon bah on s'appelle So yeah it was the mini 756 left from Lorient way to go and uh, probably yesterday already had um, a problem with his um, with his pinnacle pole and uh, it's fixing it now. But yeah, it's always nice to see friends on the way. Pretty funny, in the middle of nowhere. See another little mini, pretty cool. All right, let's go again. It's really, it really looks like the dolphins like when I'm surfing because they come and play jump harder when like I'm surfing and then they go away as soon as I slow down and come back when I'm surfing maybe the noise of the hell is intriguing them they've been with me for a while so definitely not annoying them kind of playing with them As I move towards the city, I get into the high pressure ridge I was expecting. Time to ballast forward, get the Jenaker out, and make the best progress out of the few knots of wind I had there. I even got some company on the way.
So even with just three knots of wind, moving at three knots, it's really nice. There is a uh, yeah, there is the dolphins playing around. No wave. It's not moving really fast, but it's really pretty. Alright, so tonight has been pretty calm. I was uh, going through um, a high pressure ridge, so no wind. Actually, it was really pretty with dolphins swimming around. And uh, the only thing is that I was planning to rest a bit during this calm. You know, when there is no wind and you're not going anywhere, it's good to, to sleep. But I was just outside um, a TTS and uh, a TSS, sorry. And uh, so, yeah. I haven't been able to uh, sleep as much as I wanted to because I still needed to keep an eye on the cargoes that were passing around me. And uh, yeah, since uh, I think about like three or four in the morning, the wind kicked in and I'm blasting at like 12, 30 knots in the spinnaker. I mean, I went spinnaker, big spinnaker, small spinnaker. And uh, yeah, so. Now that the boat is, uh, is set, I'm going to go and try to get some sleep because maybe the wind will increase a bit later. But yeah, it's pretty nice so far. I have about like 15 going up to 20 knots. The boat is doing good, so yeah, pretty fun.
Nice weather, eh? No doubt we're getting into Ireland. But at least we're getting there fast. That's a good thing. Sending it. We haven't fallen much below like 13, 14 knots since a few hours. Still 53 miles to go. Should pass if it stays like this. Should pass the mark for tonight. Then turn around. South. So we're only doing nine knots at the moment because I'm under code five. I would need to be under big Jenneker. But this, the furling system just broke. I just don't quite understand why and how. So no more Jenneker for this loop. No big deal. It's not a race, but it means less training and less speed. C'est la vie. I need to figure out why this broke though. I need to find a cardinal mark. It's called Koninbeck. Turn around it and go back towards France. But there is at the moment about 50 to 100 meter visibility. So I hope the waypoint I got for the boy is accurate, otherwise there is no chance I find it. Let's see, it's gonna be fun. I eventually found the mark, as the sun appeared about 15 minutes before I would reach it. Stay posted for the next episode, where I get huge speeds again on my way to France, get the drone out and some great footage.